Hi guys, it's Jenny Me here. Um, you can find me at www.jennymee.com. That's with two E's. Um, we did our ladies uh, Kizomba styling class. So that is all of our styling is our bunda or that's Portuguese for butt. All right, so we're talking about how to create movement through our bottoms um, without um, going into any personal space. So again, when we're dancing kizomba, we have a slight lean forward. Think of like that Michael Jackson forward, but not enough where you're going to fall over. Okay, but I'm still grounded in my feet. So the motion for the um, for the basic step is we're going to create a capital D shape with our butt. Okay, so I'm going to over exaggerate this. And again, we talked about this. You're going to make it out a little smoother, a little smaller when you're actually doing it out in the social setting. So again. Capital D, we bend our knees, and that's the straight side of my D. At this point, I'm at the bottom. I want to go ahead and tilt and uh, release the booty to go straight out and back. And then from here, I'm going to lift straight up and then curve it up to the top. So again, down one, back, up to the top. Down one, back, up to the top. Now, now while I'm doing this, I don't want to go ahead and move anything up here, because this is where we're connected with our gentleman or our leader. So if you start to move this, you're going to create a bump effect, which we don't want. You want all the motion down here. So a little bit faster. One, up and down, up. And again, I'm not letting my hips go forward at all. It's all going to the back. Now, when I'm stepping through my number one, either a, a two count, four count, eight count, we want to go ahead and use our feet at the same time. So when I do my down, that's when I lift my foot. That's the down. When I um, touch the ground with my toe, that's my back. And as I roll my foot down to finish my number one step is when I curve it back up. And it goes down, back, up to the top from the back, down, back, up to the top, down, back, up to the top. Now notice I'm not going side to side. It's all going to the back. And then you can also take that movement into our number two step, which is our side step. So again, it's the same thing. Down, back, down, back, down, back down, back. So notice, I'm not letting myself come forward. It's all to the back, all right? Um, the next thing we did, we talked about the uh, different angles to use your hips in. It's not just side the sides anymore. You also have your corners. So we talked about hitting out to the far side, taking your hip out to the back corner, taking it all the way to the back. There's also the other back corner. There's the side. There's a front corner, the front and then the other front corner. So eight points all together to make a full rotation. So there's side, back, side, back corner, side, front corner, front, front corner. And you want to try to hit all those points, especially when you're doing a full circular hip rotation. Okay? And then when you're dancing Kizoma and Tarasha, you can go ahead and isolate those and make them a little bit faster. You can smooth it all out. Right? Um, the last thing we talked about was our Lady Saida and adding a little bit of a run jam so that there's a little something going on if you get a little bored. So when we're doing our Lady Saida, we start back with a rock step back. We step back with the right, we go forward. On the disassociation on three, we're going to go ahead and step through three. Now as we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and release the left leg, but I'm not going to move my body. I'm going to keep it where it is. And I come around, three. I step forward four towards my gentleman. I mark a five, and I go back six, seven, mark a eight. So one more time. I go one, two, through three, forward four, mark a five, back six, seven, mark a eight. I hope you enjoyed that class. You can find my videos on YouTube, or you can check me out on my website, www.jennyme.com. That's with two E's. And hope to see you next year. Uh -huh.